So today we are making a classic Spanish dish that literally dates back a couple hundred years. Like seriously, we're talking somewhere in the 16th century. Anyways, the dish is Spanish poor man's eggs and potatoes. This dish is known here in Spain as huevos a lo pobre con patatas. It's a dish that was created by the peasants during the Renaissance era. You know, they grew their own ingredients in their land, which made making dishes like this easily accessible and very affordable. Folks, this recipe is very easy to make. It's got very simple yet beautiful flavors, and it's made with the most humble ingredients. Let's begin by grabbing three medium-sized potatoes, scrubbing them clean under some cold running water, and then patting them completely dry. Now to make this recipe, I'm using new potatoes. You want to use potatoes here that are more waxy than starchy. That way when you fry them, they don't get mushy and they keep their shape. Once the potatoes have been washed and patted dry, we're going to start cutting each one into small pieces. First, I like to cut the potatoes into four evenly sized quarters. Cut the quarter right down the middle and into small pieces that are one centimeter thick, which is about three-eighths of an inch. Now, as you can see, I'm leaving the skins on the potato as it gives them a beautiful rustic texture and flavor, but if you prefer to make this recipe, you can peel the potatoes. For the next step, I'm gonna grab a medium to large size fry pan and heat it with a medium heat. Very important to use a medium heat when you're frying potatoes. If you use anything higher, the potatoes are going to brown too quickly in the outside and not fully cook in the inside. And add in one third cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 90 milliliters. After heating the olive oil for four to five minutes on a medium heat, and it's nice and hot, but as you can see, it's not smoking, so it hasn't lost any of its beautiful flavor. I'm going to start slowly adding in the pieces of potato. and start mixing the potatoes around. That way they're all coated in that olive oil. And you don't have to mix this continuously. You just get in there about every three to four minutes. That way all the potatoes are evenly fried. While our potatoes are frying, let's get the rest of our ingredients ready. I'm gonna grab one green bell pepper. As you know, I like to cut around the bell pepper. That way there's no seeds involved. and we'll cut the bell pepper into thin strips that are five centimeters long, which is about two inches. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna grab one large onion and thinly slice it. As you know, I always like to remove between one to two of the outer layers as they're not as firm as the inside ones. That way when you cook the onions, it gives them a beautiful texture and it also makes it so much easier to cut them. Moving on, I'm gonna grab four cloves of garlic. Remove the skins from the garlic. I always like to twist them as the skin is easily removed. And thinly slice the garlic. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna crack in five cage-free organic eggs into a bowl. Of course, you can use whatever eggs you like, but you know the old saying, the higher the quality of the ingredients, the better the overall dish is gonna taste. We'll season the eggs with a little sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we're gonna lightly whisk the eggs just between five to 10 seconds. You don't wanna fully whisk them for this recipe. You wanna leave a little bit of the egg whites there as it gives the eggs an incredible texture and flavor. All right, let's move back to our potatoes. They've been frying for about 25 minutes. And once again, I've been moving them around every three to four minutes. That way they're all evenly fried. At this point, the potatoes should be perfectly cooked. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, the potatoes are ready to go. I'm gonna start removing them from the pan, transferring them into a dish and then setting them aside. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm gonna add in the sliced green bell pepper, the sliced onion, and the sliced garlic. 
and start mixing the vegetables around with that olive oil. At this point, I like to mix this continuously, that way the vegetables don't burn and they all evenly saute. About six to eight minutes after adding the vegetables into the pan, and you can see that the onion is nice and translucent, and that green bell pepper and that garlic lightly sauteed. You don't want to brown them too much. I'm going to lower the fire to a low medium heat. Add the fried potatoes back into the pan. And season everything with sea salt. And freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way the ingredients and those seasonings are evenly mixed together. Then we'll add in our whisk eggs into the pan. And we're going to start gently mixing this together, that way those whisk eggs are incorporated into the rest of the vegetables. And we're only going to go between 3 to 4 minutes here, you don't want to go any longer, otherwise the eggs are going to overcook, which gives them a rubbery texture. After about 4 minutes, those eggs look like they are perfectly cooked in this dish, ready to be served. I'm going to remove the pan from the heat. Transfer everything into a serving dish. And we'll sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley. Our Spanish poor man's eggs and potatoes is done. Huevo salo pobre con patatas. A classic Spanish dish. So many great aromas coming out of it. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. You know, this is a dish that was created by the peasants, but in my opinion, this looks like it is fit for a king. It looks so good. Here we go. In my opinion, once again, it doesn't get better than this. This is one of those dishes where less is more. Simplicity meets extraordinary. All the vegetables are beautifully cooked and then those eggs just take it to another level. You saw this, a classic Spanish dish that hails from the Renaissance era. So easy to make at home. Made with very humble ingredients to try it at home. You're not gonna believe how good this is. This is what great food is all about. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Tommy Williams, Joan Kiliko, and the Stewix family. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. It's thanks to you and the rest of my patrons who I Spain on Fork continues to move forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. It really helps me with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my patron link in the description box below and my card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.